Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to show you how to make a candelabra arrangement. So we've got a really beautiful range of flowers that we're going to use featuring hydrangea, peony roses, roses, large head and spray. And I've got some lovely calla lilies as well and a little bit of a stilby. So really a very floral and uh, opulent sort of an arrangement and then we've just got our silver candelabra now this is a three prong one but you could just as easily use a, a five prong candelabra and what we're going to do is we're just going to set this up with some foam and then we're going to get started on our design so to attach the foam to this i want to use one of these candle cups so this is really just like a little plastic dish but it's specifically made for going into a candelabrum so what i'm going to do is just use a little bit of oasis fix which is like a putty really just to to wedge that down into our dish so that's really nice and firm and what i've done is i've just taken a third of a block of foam and we're going to put that into our dish so just to attach this now i'm just going to use some pot tape so it depends there's different ways of doing things. So if you're going to have to transport this, you might want to think about doing it in a slightly different way. But what I'm wanting to do is just tape this in nice and secure. And then we don't need to worry about it. So it's already secure by the fact that this is designed for a candelabra. And it's then secure by the pot tape and by the pot fix as well. So just to finish off this edge, what I want to do is just use some aspidistra. So we can take our aspidistra and really just bring this right round. And I'm going to use a wire. Now, let's see. Just like a stub wire. Just take it, cut it in two and create like a, a hairpin. So that is just giving us a little bit of security there that we can attach that. Now, I'm gonna put two in so I can actually come back over there. just put it in. So really what we're doing with this leaf is just hiding our plastic container and uh, when we add our flowers this won't really be seen and it won't really matter. So just this wire just basically holds that in. So we've created a base for our design. The one thing I need to do now is add the candles. So I've got like a little candle cup holder here that I can just place into the top of our foam and this allows us to put the central candle and then for our other two candles I'm just going to use a little bit of the tape that you would use for corsages so this is like uh, a stem text and I'm just going to put a little bit of that around the base of each candle and this works really well for just holding them in place and now we're ready to begin with our flowers Okay, so we've got our base, so we've got our candles in position, we've got a third of Oasis, and we've nicely hidden our container. So really now we can just add our flowers. So what I wanted to do with this hydrangea was some of the foliage from that is quite handy when you split it down, that you can just use to help give a little bit of a collar down the base here. And then we can add our hydrangea. So we've got these absolutely stunning hydrangea in the most beautiful color. And what I want to do is just bring them in. So with this candelabra, and the problem with all candelabras is you are slightly limited on the size. So we're limited on the size here for this candle. So I need to position my hydrangea that this is not going to be a big issue. So really, rather than coming in side by side, I'm going diagonally across it. And that was going to work well for us. And then I can bring one up here. So really that's the main body of our uh, flowers in there. And what I want to do is use the peonies as well. So really we're just going to add our flowers in, in such a way that we're going to create a lot of interest. And we can do a little bit of grouping. Uh, we can do 
a little bit of spacing things out actually. So what we're really looking for is creating a bit of a contrast, so a contrast between all these flowers. So this is a beautiful spray rose. Now you could make your flowers sit in a way that's really quite choppy or you can make them sit in a way that's really quite symmetrical. I think slightly off symmetrical works really well. The danger with going very symmetrical is that you end up showing any flaws. So because we've got a range of flowers here that are different textures, we can actually let that be a little bit choppy and just work with it rather than necessarily trying to make something totally symmetrical. Now obviously if you were just going to do it with just roses or just hydrangea then I think you're going to find that that is much better if you're looking to make something that is symmetrical. But it depends, it depends what you're doing, it depends how you want to work it. Just adding something like this a still be is just going to break this up a little bit and give a contrast of texture as well. So these are all a little bit heavier. We can basically make that a little bit more interesting by adding that contrast. And I think really the thing that's quite effective about this is actually having the, the dark colours beside the light colours. We're really working that to suit. And I just love these little spray roses. They're absolutely gorgeous. So now we've got the majority of our flowers in, what I want to do is just really do a double check. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it and I'm just looking for where I need to place the flower. So here I think we need to have that contrast with the lily. And then here we're needing something. So again, I'm thinking what is the, the perfect flower for there. So I'm going to come in with a big rose. And up the top here we've got space so we can add another one of these fabulous spray roses. So again here we're just looking and seeing that we could do with Again, the spray rose coming in. The one thing that you want to be careful of is where your candles are and are they going to burn the material that's in the actual arrangement. That's not something that's a good look or creates a good effect for people sitting, having their meal. So really I'm using my fingers to, to find the foam with the stem and um, guide the flower in, so like here. And with the peonies you can actually, you can be assured that they'll open up a little bit as well. So you can put them in in a way that they're actually a little bit tighter than you want for the end result, but you know that they're going to open up a wee bit for when you have the actual function. Right. Mm. There we go. 
Now, if you want, you can add a touch of ivy and you could have a little bit of a cascade, but really what we wanted with this was just to create an arrangement that is really just the dual colors and these beautiful flowers and really just keep it very floral and gorgeous. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I hope you can see that it's relatively straightforward to construct a design like this. The main thing is concentrating on making good secure uh, you know, basics underneath so that your foam and that is really firm and secure. And actually putting the design together is quite straightforward. But what I would suggest is try and go for some really nice punchy colors and something that's really vibrant and eye-catching. And that'll really wow the people that are gonna see these flowers. So thank you for watching. If you'd like to keep up to date with all our videos, then click here to subscribe. And thank you.